This is the double stranded end of DSDNA present in the cytosol of E. coli. In the cytosol of E. coli, first of all, the enzyme REC BCD enters at a double stranded end of DSDNA. The enzyme REC BCD is heterotrimeric in nature. The enzyme REC BCD is composed of three subunits like REC B subunit, REC C subunit, and REC D subunit. In E. coli, the REC B, REC C, REC D genes encode REC BCD enzyme. The REC B subunit and REC D subunit show helicase activity. By their helicase activity, REC B subunit and REC D subunit unwind DNA. REC B subunit has a REC B nuclease domain. This REC B nuclease domain can alternately degrade one DNA strand than the other. The REC B nuclease domain degrades the three prime ending strand more. For this purpose, the hydrolysis of ATP is required. By using its helicase activity, the REC B subunit travels or moves in the 3' prime to 5' prime direction on the strand with the pre 3' prime end. Similarly, by using its helicase activity, REC D subunit moves in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction on the strand with the pre 5' prime end. The helicase activity of both REC B subunit and REC D subunit depends on biochemical reactions in which ATP molecules undergo hydrolysis to produce ADPs and PIs. So, overall we can say that for the nuclease and helicase activity of REC BCD enzyme, ATP molecules undergo hydrolysis to produce ADPs and PIs. The movement of REC BCD enzyme on the DSDNA and degradation of both strands of DNA looks like this. After some time, the Qi scanning site on REC C subunit binds tightly to the Qi sequence in the DNA. The Qi sequence bound REC BCD enzyme looks like this. The binding of Qi scanning site on REC C subunit to the Qi sequence in the DNA changes the activity of REC BCD enzyme. From the Qi sequence, degradation of the DNA strand with a 3' prime terminus is greatly reduced. But degradation of the DNA strand with a 5' prime terminus is increased. This process creates a SSDNA loop with a 3' prime end and only the strand with the pre 5' prime end becomes accessible to the REC B nuclease domain. The SSDNA with a 3' prime end is used during subsequent steps in recombination. This is the G bound in scanning site. Now some important points. The REC BCD enzyme is believed to help initiate homologous genetic recombination in E. coli. The REC BCD enzyme is involved in the repair of double strand breaks at collapsed replication forks. The nucleotide sequence in G sequence is 5' GCT, GGT, GG. The 1009 G sequences scattered throughout the E. coli genome enhance the frequency of recombination about 5 to 10 fold within 1000 BP of the G site. Please like, subscribe and share.